But no, what I did watch instead was uh, the Tindler Swindler. Oh yeah. Did you hear about that? I heard it. I heard that. I heard about the guy. Yeah. And and or the trend. Okay. And then and then I heard about the the film, and then I heard about the actual moron going to social media and going, "That's about me." Did you see it? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. If you want to participate in just the current, um, just goofy ass Netflix Netflix tale of like time to watch a character, right? The, 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 that's one of these cultural moments, right? Joe Exotic's gone. Who's the next character? Um, it is. It what is the fucking freak will let us record eighteen hours of footage of them. Well, not the freak, but the victims of the freak. The victims of said freak. Exactly, and you get basically just get to see uh, a professional con and how they set up um, this whole thing that you know more or less uses twin twindler uses tindler to uh rope in people and then create a perfect um romance movie uh, uh situation where high intensity uh feelings very very quickly escalations of you know of of affection and all that and then massive catastrophic disasters and oh my god lives are on the line there's blood there's there's cars at nighttime there are secrets there are enemies we have I... to get out we have to get through this together, but first you have to send me your credit card. <laughs> I, I I gotta say, I really gotta say, when I heard about the Tinder swindler, I was totally baffled as the honeypot has been a con for literally the entire history of society upon the invention of money. Correct. A guy or a gal who knows they got the looks and they got the charm makes up a bunch of shit. Yep. But the money or the cows or the house or the labor or the whatever the fuck is valuable in the situation. Yep. Now, the only thing that makes this tale uh, noteworthy and I guess worth filming is well, besides the fact that the story is not over is the level of dedication and insane quadruple life living one has to do meant to mentally juggle the efforts to scam some people. And like, you kind of just stare at it as like a case of like, you're like, even for someone who is, let's say, let's say you're like, you know, you're clearly a sociopath. You don't have anyone's emotions registering anything in your brain. You just see what you need to do here to get what you want out of the situation. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even for that person who has become very good at doing this thing, it's so much work. Like, it's okay. the, the lies take so much effort, like an exhausting amount, you know? Like, never mind the fucking ethical shit. It's a shit. living, man. Yeah. It's a living. And you're like the length that you go to to have like just like a, a, a brief period of high times followed by horrible darkness and then more high times. And it's just exhausting. And it's like, yeah, watch it to see just this wild case of a professional um, identity theft hustler uh, working through a, a, a group of girls that were, to be perfectly honest, also looking to uh find a prince to marry you know and we're basically looking at the profile of someone who was more or less promising to be a multi-millionaire that'll take them on cruises around the world and get get them sugared up and they were looking for oh, yeah. that but in the quest to get sugared up they got they got de-sugared salty they got salty yes it's so, it's, it's, let, it's, it, let it be known, a successful con person, never let me say that con people don't work hard. They work hmm, hard. Hmm. They put in a real day's work. They put in the work. It's fucking evil and dastardly. Oh, yeah. But you got to work real hard to scam some people. 
And it, the thing that you kind of just have to wonder that's like throughout the, uh, as you're watching this, that it's in the back of your mind that the whole time is like, as everything escalates and when you see things go his way and sometimes they don't go his way and when they don't go this person's way and you're like, okay, you've put in a lot of work and a lot of time and you've clearly dedicated your entire life to this con, right? When things don't go your way and you are in fact the sociopath that we know you have to be, like... What happens when the mouse gets cornered? Like, are we able to watch this Netflix story because we know for a fact that, okay, he's not going to start stabbing anybody? <laughs> you know? Like, because, like, the, the swindling being the crime is the kind of brain that, like, can also go other places when pushed to darkness. You know? So, but you answer, don't know until your... it gets there. To answer your question, somebody with like full blown sociopathy or psychopathy, depending on what the DSM six calls it now, or is DMS five, or uh, full blown intense ass lifestyle sized narcissistic personality disorder, um, the answer to your question as to whether or not they are capable of throwing around the stabbing if they're willing to do all this stuff, the real question is. Would stabbing make the situation easier or harder? Yeah. Is there an easy way most, out of this? Most people who are high-functioning narcissistics or sociopaths who are running scams and, and rackets and whatnot are going to realize that adding a potential murder conviction to themselves down the road is probably not within their best interest it's probably easier to just disappear. Possibly. But you never know, is what I'm saying. Like, you never know where the the rest of the, the, the chips that don't, the pieces that don't click in, you know, with the person. You're like, yeah, but if, while that might be the case, what if this person happens to also have just that flavor of... Uh, lack of empathy plus the the narcissism where sure, but like, their identity like... where the consequence is not being thought of because the offense to their ego is so uh, shattered at that point that something must sure. be done, you know but what I'm saying is like let's say I want you to get I want you we're talking and I'm like man I wish Willie would just shut up mm -hmm. right now uh, if you have no moral compass or empathy for another human being at all you have a lot of options on the table of mm -hmm. the problem of I would like Wooly to stop talking. There runs the gamut of me screaming at the top of my lungs, shut your fucking mouth. There's me stabbing you in the face. Mm -hmm. um, there's me walking away. <laughs> there's mm -hmm. me peacefully, oh man, hey, could you please be quiet? I got a headache and making up a lie about a head, right? There's all sorts of things. For somebody who does have the intelligence to run successful scams, I would usually make the assumption that cutting or shooting is not on the first tier of responses. Not because they're evil. The evil unlocks the choices. It does. Mm -hmm. But would this even be the best? Now, if you're dealing with pride, okay, maybe... Maybe that's something else, and then we could. Yeah, we I'm, were talking I'm not... more about narcissistic personality disorder, where they so can get real the, good. So the the likelihood, we like it's de it's definitely understandable that like the likelihood remains low as long as the person who's executing this this type of behavior is able to assess that this will make their life worse. This will this mm -hmm. will come back and make things more difficult. Therefore, it's not a preferable solution. Um, right. That that is what's happening in most cases. It's just that when you see like the other lengths and things about the person in this case you go i don't know for sure that he's the kind oh, of person well, I mean, that'll make that call you know i mean Willie, you never know anybody for sure so that somebody question who is... is somebody who is otherwise chill could fucking step on a lego and be like ah oh, god damn it and just in a fit of rage punch a random child on the street precisely you never know and so there, and so there are moments in this where it feels like, uh, okay, if this person is, if this person is that the the kind that is like going to say, uh, fuck the obvious fact that I'm about to make my life harder, 
I just need to like do this right now because I'm like my, my foresight is currently garbage. Um, mm-hmm. There are situations where that test comes into play where you go like, oh shit, how's this gonna go? Um, so yeah, anyway, it was it was uh, it was a. What, what we're talking about, by the way, is uh, the distinction that uh, is usually made between successful people with these uh, these disorders or unsuccessful people with these disorders, right? It's the dividing line. So if you have no human empathy at all and you can just look at situations amorally, you'd be a great businessman. Oh, yeah. You can Yoshikage your Kira your way to the top. And, and you would know all sorts of things and you would have no problem doing all sorts of dirt-ass shit to get the way to the top and you would probably make a bunch of money. However, if you also don't have these moral compulsions and... Um, can't consider the future court consequences of your actions you get somebody like oh i don't know my brother <laughs> who uh will just steal someone's dog because they can't pay them twenty dollars uh this week and then tell a story at breakfast like he's baffled that the guy broke into his house and took his dog back right and never has any money and no one ever helps him or trusts him the He's brain a scumbag because he just can't see the future consequences of these actions so right. a smart sociopath would go you know just telling that this guy too bad until you pay me i'm keeping your dog might result in this kind of thing because that would be a smart thing yeah but that you have to learn to you think. have to learn the enemy skill that teaches you how to like yeah. put the flesh of a person on and pretend to be them you know, yeah. but if you never quite get those, then you are just stuck with whatever you learn in the backyard, and and that's your problem solving tool. No, you, you only you only learn to you only learn to put the flesh of the person on when you're talking to girls. I suppose, but at some point to CEO up. That's where the focus goes for some people. Yeah, when you when you when you CEO up, you know, and you and you just become that that person though, or you're like, I'm just gonna pretend to be a human being. Like that's how yeah. this works, and you're gonna be ruthlessly good at it. As like you know, the... you know who seems like a all right person just from a, a distance, who seems like an okay guy, I guess. Phil Spencer, for an example, right? He seems fine. He mm-hmm. seems like a a nice enough guy, I guess. But he still is putting off this aura of like. I put on this shirt that has an indie game on it so that I can show people that I like indie games. And the way he talks sometimes is like, Mm -hmm. hey, fellow humans, would you like an Xbox? (laughs) Yeah, well, that's you see, the thing is, is you'd need to hear uh, these people on something like podcast length discussion. Yeah. To find out if they pass the replicant test. You know who I want to, you know, whose podcast I want to <laughs> listen to real bad. Mm. I want to hear the Zucker cast. Yeah. He just that did. Fucking, he that just fucking space alien. He, he just did one with uh, Lex Friedman. You can go listen to him. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, he, did, he literally did a podcast. I didn't listen to it, but I know that it opens with um, him being handed a piece of paper. It was saying, can you please highlight all the uh, cones <laughs> to prove you're not a robot on it? Which he then does, um, but yeah, he probably cheated. You can you can go you can go listen to that to find out because I'm 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 super I would, curious. I would love to hear like him explain in his own words why the Hawaiians are assholes for not letting him buy up like half of that island, and why really he deserves it. No, for real though. And what the fuck is going on with that surfing picture? Uh, that's just white people, man. <laughs> I just I, the, the sun the sun's not kind to us dude the answer is satisfactory but i know we can go deeper <laughs> <laughs> um anyways he didn't uh, take it he didn't make any effort to blend it like you're supposed to he doesn't give a shit he doesn't have time for that 